This video is for a second scenario where you do have Future Pinball installed, it was working correctly, and at some point it decided to do its thing that it decides to do from time to time and switch the screens on you. So this time I'm going to start it up, it's going to look right, and then I'm going to intentionally change it so that you can see how to make changes. Again, first thing you want to do is check and make sure your screens are correct. If it's a two screen setup it's way easier than a three screen but uh, I make several different machines and some are two and some are three. The three being the more difficult. One thing that you want to pay attention to is the screen resolutions. 1440 by 900 and 2560 by 1440. From there you'll go to your future pinball installation which is going to be pinball, future pinball and you're going to go into BAM not launching future pinball from here and you're looking for FP loader right here now I just made a video where these settings are correct so I'm going to screw them up intentionally okay so I'm gonna just switch one for three uh, as an example also keep in mind that these numbers don't necessarily correspond to what uh, Windows will say you know, if I click on identify, it'll show me what's what. Now I know that three is my play field and one is my back glass. Now here, I don't know which one display three is. We'll find out here in a second, possibly. So I'm just going to click on OK. Load bubble bobble. And then click play table. And let's see what happens. So since I changed the play field location, uh, it's not where it's supposed to be. It's uh, probably recording what's on screen three, which I can't actually see at the moment. So, yay. <laughs> to close the uh, emulator, hit the escape key. For some reason, the back glass is still staying active. But I'm going to go to video rendering. And now I'm going to change it back to one. And since that's two. Let's swap these two and see what it looks like. Even though the resolutions are correct, the displays are not. So let's see what this one looks like. So it changed the resolution of my main display to what I set it to in future pinball. So I'm kind of screwed from here. Okay. So hit escape and then go back to preferences and then change these back to what they were. And you don't have to close and reopen future pinball. You can just make those changes. And now this should display correctly. There we go. So that just gives you an idea. The, the problem is um, there's enough possible things that you just got to play around with this. Um, make sure your resolution is correct and then just change this from display to display until you get the right one and then do the same thing with the back box. Make sure the resolution is right and then change the display uh, to the one that you know is not the play field because if you got the play field right then you're only looking to uh, address the back box. Should be pretty simple. All right.